All right, I took the piece and I cut the uh, cut the ends off so that I had just the length that I need for the weld, right? But I got to looking at that heart and I decided it was kind of lame. So I thought, let's add a little character and spice to the inside. So I went and made a couple of scrolls out of some smaller material, some 3 16 by half to match the piece that we have. But it's thinner. So I first I drew them out. And then I scrolled them up using this clever little scroll tong that I've made that has a scroll welded right to it. And I can roll it right up and get the, the scroll I want. So after doing that, and then I cut them off to length, look at what we have here. So I fitted them inside the piece that we are working on. Because that heart was a little bit lame, wasn't it? Just by itself. See, this is where it gets fun. So I've made these scrolls, and I just pushed them. I just pressed them in here. Okay? And I pressed it in here. Notice that I've left some gap up here. You notice that I've left some gap? I want them to sit there on their own. See how they look? See how they look on their own? Nice. So I left some gap there, pulled them down a little bit. Now they're, they're just sitting in here right now with the pressure of this pushing on. So what I want to do now is just tack weld the bottom so they all stay put in place. And then I'm going to you know, tack weld across the bottom, press it in, or and then for forge weld it all together. Okay. Now you'll notice, I want you to pay attention that I didn't use my big forging hammer to put this together. All I had to do was put it together. And I don't want to distort it yet. I want to get it together correctly in the one piece. All right. And so I didn't need a big forging hammer. It's not, it's not about pressure. It's about getting it to the welding temperature and putting them together. So there I've put them together. Now I'm going to get it red hot again and draw it out. Okay. Now I'm not going to draw this out too much because I have another plan for this. But I'll show you what could have been done with this. Now, if I were to stop let's brush this a little bit. Now, if I were to take that and uh, draw that to a point, that would be a really nice point for the end of a uh, a uh, weather vane, wouldn't it? It'd be kind of nice if it went down to a point. But I'm going to add metal now to the end of this. So at this point, I've drawn it down. I've got a bar I'm going to add to this, okay? And we'll go, go out from here. And uh, so at this point, I have to scarf it against the weld. Where's my pointer? So they're welded this way, right? Now I'm going to scarf it, pushing it down this way, because I'm going to lay my next piece on it like this, Okay? So now I've got to scarf it downward and, and get that get that look, right, for the scarf. So I'll be hammering against the weld. So I have it nice and hot. You're working on this weld, so keep it hot while you're doing that.
So I see I'm drawing a taper on that. Stop. There we go. It was getting a little wider than I would have liked it to be there. So bring that down. In order to get it the full body that I want, that's going to have to be one more heat. But you can see I have, there it is, you can see I've, I'm bringing it down this way, right? A little bit more, make that really fine there so I can lay a bar up onto it. I'm working this almost welding temperature. And I want that fine out there. And remember, I've got to get those edges off a little bit so that the center is higher, right? We want it to touch in the middle first. So I've created my scarf. Okay. So there it's cooling. There you can see the shape of it. Okay. All right, so I took another bar, and it wasn't 3 eighths. I'm sorry, it's half inch bar. And I scarfed the end of it. I, I've already put flux on it while it was hot. So these two guys are going to go together just like that. So we'll forge this together now. Very good, very good. There we have them together. Now I'm going to go ahead and heat it up again. And I'm just going to weld those edges just to make sure those, those, those ends are down, right? I'll do that by hand. I just want to get that. Yeah, see that end right there? Lay it right down in there. Nice. So here we are, though. We have it on a long bar. And so the idea of welding it there, putting it all together, scarfing it, and then putting that extension weld, that bar onto it to continue that bar on. Uh, that's the idea. That's the important part. Okay, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit crooked and everything right now. i got to heat it all up and do that. And in fact, I may cut this bar down because I don't need this much on this bar. It was a great handle to begin with, but I only need about that much now. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. That way I can turn this around, and again, I can work off the end of the bars. Do you see how I'm working off the end of the bars all the time when I was welding that and putting that together? Always off the end of the bars. And boom, together. But now we have a nice long bar, you know, as long as you want it to be. Uh, but there we are. All right, I had to put it in the vise there a little bit. You know how things get a little bit skewed. A little bit skewed. Okay, what camera are we working on? Here we are. So here's the piece. I got it straightened up on the bar, right? It can, you can never brush this stuff enough. So a few little tweaks here and there. I got it straightened out. 
Okay, so there's our piece. Uh, and this is just the beginning. Let's, let's do another piece now uh, and add some more elements to it. But here you get the idea of what it takes, where it starts and where you go. And please understand, you're going to be fiddling with this. It just doesn't go easily. You're going to tweak it. You're going to fiddle with it. It's going to go wrong. <laughs> That's guaranteed. It's really not about being some super duper smith more than it is to being know how to fix the, the quirks when it happens because they're going to happen. 